Good morning and thank you for joining us for State of Texas. I'm Josh Hinkle. There are officially eight days left in the legislative session, but state lawmakers may have to spend a little more time in Austin than they expected. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick threatened to push lawmakers toward a special session unless House members approve two controversial bills. One sets new limits on how much cities and counties can raise property taxes without voter approval. The other is the Senate bill requiring Texans to use the bathroom based on their biological sex. Patrick says polls show Texans want those bills to become law and blamed House leaders for blocking them. Here's the bottom line. I want to avoid a special session, but I'm prepared to go into one if the House does not pass a strong version of Senate Bill 2 property tax relief desperately wanted by the people of the state. And if the House does not pass SB 6 or amend another bill with the language concerning Texas privacy, again, the people have spoken clearly. The votes are there. Lieutenant Governor Patrick said he would ask Governor Abbott to call for a special session until those bills pass. Speaker Joe Strauss issued a statement in response. He called Patrick's threat to force a special session regrettable and said the best way to end this session is to reach consensus on as many issues as we can. Nobody is going to get everything they want. Special sessions are more common than you may realize. We looked at state records from the last 50 years. There have been more special sessions than regular sessions. We found 42 special sessions have been called since 1967. The most recent ones came in 2013. Then Governor Rick Perry called lawmakers back to Austin for three special sessions. During those, lawmakers passed a bill making it tougher to get an abortion, as well as more funding for transportation. Joining us this week to give us perspective, we have Sherry Greenberg, a former state rep and professor at the LBJ School at the University of Texas, and Ross Ramsey, executive editor for the Texas Tribune. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. So special sessions, I know you guys have had your fair share of being in a special session uh, and yes. covering a special session. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about the threat for a special session by Lieutenant Governor? This is an interesting situation because typically uh, special sessions have happened not with a threat but out of necessity. So if you look at the period, for instance, from 1991 to 2001 when we were both there in our capacities, there were many special sessions, but it was typically with court orders, uh, school finance, redistricting, prisons, health. There was a situation in 91 that was rather unique, in fact is unique, the legislature for several reasons, including a funding bill and the lottery and performance reviews, did not get the budget done in the regular session. So we actually met over the summer and did the budget in the special session, which is, of course, the bill that must pass. Mm -hmm. And I know that often with the special session, it is something that might be a controversial issue that hasn't gone through right. in right. the regular session. Yeah, the only two reasons they have special sessions are when they have legitimate emergencies. You know, there's a hurricane, an economic collapse or something like that. Something happens to them or when they make a mistake or mess something up in their own work. They don't finish a budget in time, they don't pass a sunset bill, Quarter. something that has to pass doesn't pass and they feel like they have to come back. Some You could put in somewhere in between those categories the times when a governor decides for political reasons, I want this issue to pass, it didn't pass in a regular mm -hmm. session, I'm bringing you back till I get it. So mm -hmm. possibly the bathroom bill, I mean, we've had controversial issues like ab abortion restrictions before uh -huh. and the anti-groping bill for TSA, I remember that came up a, a couple of right. sessions ago. I mean, right. uh, could we expect anything else to pop up during a special session that wasn't really a topic during a regular? Well, you know, special sessions are a completely different beast because only the governor can call a special session, can say we're going to have it, and only the governor can determine what's on the call, meaning what the legislature will take up. Having said that, the governor can put anything on there that the governor wants to. So if the governor had a priority item, whether it was um, early childhood or whether other people convince the governor to put their priorities on there, then they can appear. And the process is really sped up, too, because they've got 30 days, right. but they have right. to kind of start all the legislative process over again. Well, they don't have all the bills. So yeah. in, a, in right. a regular session, they've got 6,700 bills this time. About a fifth of them will pass if it's a normal mm -hmm. deal. And in a special session, you have one or two or three issues and nothing else going on. So right. why can't you work faster? They mm -hmm. work pretty quick. They've had them as short mm -hmm. as a day. Yes. And, and they've had them, you know, that stretched and stretched and stretched. And you can have them back to back. 
you know, a special can end and then the governor can call another special right away. That's happened before. These last few days of the session, what is it like to be down to the wire? You, you've been there on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you know, it can be, uh, uh, you know, life and death for your bill. Uh, we, of course, have already passed the time when a bill can come out of the House uh, Thursday night and we had the, what they're calling Mother's Day Massacre <laughs> with the local and consent calendar being pulled down. So lots of little bills had their death cries then and big bills, major bills that were, of, you know, statewide. So you're at a point where members are either have said, my, there's no hope for my bill, or they're desperately seeking, you know, life support for their bills, whether it's, and it has to now be, you know, in a Senate uh, vehicle for the most part, um, unless it's uh, something that is in one version and not the other, and it's still in conference committee. But bills are either dead or on life support, or people are desperately seeking, you know, vehicles at this last minute for their bills. Mm -hmm. We're going to end with a SWAT team or a hostage situation. Yes. The lieutenant governor <laughs> yeah. came out and said, I'm going to hold these two bills hostage right. until I get these two bills passed. And we're waiting for that midnight, you know, mm -hmm. prisoner exchange on the mm -hmm. German border mm -hmm. somewhere mm -hmm. where they mm -hmm. hand us mm -hmm. one, we hand them one, and everybody tries to go home mm -hmm. safely. Mm -hmm. Right. Good analogy. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, it's, uh, it is down to the wire. Um, the bill that must pass, of course, is the appropriations bill. Right. I guess during this time also is when you get to see more of the divisiveness between leadership even. I mean, um, Speaker Strauss has said it's regrettable that the mm -hmm. lieutenant governor is, you know, holding these bills hostage like this and not everyone is going to get what they want. As right. much of that is about blaming and crediting as about actually passing the bills. Mm -hmm. they, you know, I think that in their heart of hearts, most of them think they're going to get out of here without a special session. Right. But they want to make sure that if there's a screw up, it falls on the other guy. And so there's a lot of, you know, no, it's yours, no, it's yours, no, it's yours. Uh, gets in the way. But if you've ever had kids yeah. or been around kids, you kind of understand the dynamics at play here. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and there are constituencies that they want to, as you said, play to. You know, I tried and it wasn't my fault. Jimmy did it or Janie did it, right? The kid analogy. <laughs> Beyond that, um, you know, it's really just working out what has to be worked out, a, a couple of bills um, at the end. But typically, you've not had special sessions, as we said, unless there was a court order and you're up against a deadline or an emergency um, or um, something that a governor felt, you know, he or she had to call back for. But um, there is, there is in this session, I believe, we saw back before session ever began, oh, in November, when there were lots of interviews beginning with the uh, speaker of the House and with the Lieutenant Governor, it was clear from the get-go that they had very different agendas with very different priorities, and that has played out. Mm -hmm. uh, Ross, just real quick before we go, is there anything that you see right now that the legislature has passed or probably will pass that you think the governor might veto? <laughs> Uh, there is a bill that's a complicated piece of uh, property tax legislation that, you know, there's an incentive in state law against a school district temporarily lowering its property taxes. And they're trying to get a thing through that would allow them to temporarily lower it and then to go back without right. a vote. Um, the governor doesn't like that bill. Um, it may deny some people some property tax breaks. Well, we'll see what happens. Just a few more days left. That's right. Have fun. Thank you. <laughs> and you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank